Okay, so in today's video, we're actually going to rehouse my wolf spider, my Hogna carolinensis, uh, also known as the Carolina wolf spider or giant wolf spider. My little girl is in her little burrow hiding right now, but we're going to go ahead and rehouse her. Now, I do want to mention that this enclosure is suitable for a wolf spider. It works. I just got this little jack-o'-lantern container at, I believe it was Winco, and I soldered some holes in the sides for ventilation. I filled it with substrate so she had plenty of room to burrow, and then of course I included some sphagnum moss and leaves and all kinds of fun things. I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not, but she did burrow all the way down at the bottom. She's actually right here on the very bottom, right there. That's my little Maisie. Um, I think this is the first time you guys have actually seen her on my channel, but I got her pretty recently. She is a sweetheart. I absolutely love her. Of course, when I take her out, I will show her to you guys, but we are going to rehouse her because I don't like the round concept of this because I feel like she's kind of robbed of a lot of space. I wanted to put her in a smaller enclosure to see if she would use everything that was in there, if she would burrow, if she would stay above ground, what her personal little routine was, and I would adjust her enclosure accordingly. So we are actually going to move her out of this and we are going to move her into this gorgeous eight inch cube enclosure from Tarantula Cribs. I am an affiliate, so if you wanna use code MANDA10 at tarantulacribs.com to save some money on your order, you definitely can. So yeah, we're just gonna basically revamp her enclosure and give her some more space because she does love to come out and walk around everywhere and explore everything, but she does also really like to burrow. So I want to be able to allow her even more substrate for her to tunnel and burrow because clearly that's what she loves. So yeah, I guess first and foremost, let's get her out of her old enclosure and then we will put her in the new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick out the things from her current enclosure that I want to use in the new one. Let me grab a paper towel to set this stuff down on. Okay, so I will be reusing this little water bowl. I'm going to obviously reuse her leaves. And then I'm not gonna reuse the moss just because it does obtain the moisture. And I don't really need that. I do have a couple little crystals in here that I will be reusing as well. These are really lightweight ones. I don't want to put anything too heavy in there just in case she were to burrow. I don't want the burrow to collapse in. Um, but you can see she did a really good job making this burrow. She put all the moss around there all by herself. So I was able to get her out of her burrow. And here she is. This is Maisie. She is pretty large. Of course, always handle at your own risk, but she's never bit me. She is so beautiful though. Do you see her? Oh my goodness. Wolf spiders are very underrated, honestly. So I'm just gonna put her in her little cup and I'm gonna close this off while we work on the other enclosure. Now, another reason I wanted to switch her out of this is it's kind of like a cloudy plastic. It's not like a nice clear acrylic. So it's really hard to get photos of her through it. Again, because of the rounded sides and the cloudiness, uh, it just, it wasn't working out. So that's another reason I wanted to move her to one of these guys because this acrylic is phenomenal. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and use the same substrate that is in here because it's fine and we totally can and then I'll actually add just a little bit of fresh over top and I'm gonna go ahead and pack it down as I go because now I know that she is going to burrow I want to make sure that it is nice and packed so it won't collapse on her later and I'm actually gonna add some additional fresh soil I use the reptosoil substrate and I'm just gonna dump bit of this in there as well yeah I think that's pretty good 
Now let me go like clean this up a little bit and then I'll be right back. I am gonna use the same piece of cork bark for her hide. So I'm just gonna kind of like bury it right here and then kind of start her a little burrow. All right, so sorry about the weird um, lighting change and stuff. I had to switch to my phone camera because my camera camera batteries just kept dying and I just didn't want to wait. Uh, so this is what we have. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple little cork bark pieces kind of around um, just so she can kind of like climb up on them and fun things and all of that stuff. Go ahead and put another cork bark piece right here in case she wants to start a hide over here. Her choice, whatever she wants to do. So these leaves I have, I guess I'll just put these in the corner. And then I'm also going to go in and take that, this crystal that I had. This is a citrine. And I'm just gonna kind of use it to anchor. Uh, how do I wanna do this? Yeah, I just kind of want to anchor the leaves in place with it so that they don't like go around go everywhere you have another one of these little crystals i'll just go ahead and set there and then we have the water dish i'm gonna put her water dish kind of close to the edge because she really likes to fill it with dirt um so <laughs> we're just gonna put the water dish there and then i'm gonna go in with some uh green sphagnum moss and just the traditional like tan colored sphagnum moss and i'm gonna kind of just put this throughout the enclosure i do have some of these cute little um, flowers i think i'll just stick a couple of these kind of in the corners a little bit again she'll probably totally destroy this but that's fine okay and then the last thing i'm going to add is some leaf litter. I'm just gonna take this and kind of crunch some of it up and just sprinkle it around. All right, and I think, and I think we are done. I think that's what we've got. We can go ahead and move Maisie in, yay! Look at this Maisie, you got some new digs. So oh, here she is, my mazy girl. You ready to go in? All right, go on in. Go check it out. Oh. <laughs> there she is. What do you think, Miss Maisie? Here's your new enclosure. And just like that, she has already found her burrow. Do you love it, Maisie? The wolf spiders are really cool. Their eyes are actually reflective to the lights, similar to cats. So I will go ahead and do like a 24 hour update. Um, I'll update you guys in like 24 hours to just show you the progress of what she's done to the place. But for now, I think this is a win. So it's the next day and Maisie actually hasn't done too much work to her new home. You can see she's out cruising around, so we're going to feed her in just a minute. Um, she did move around her moss in this corner a little bit, but for the most part, she's pretty much just been hanging out. I totally forgot yesterday to add on her name label, so I have her name put on there. And then I got this wolf spider sticker from Grey Ghost Creations on Etsy. I will link them down below. Not sponsored, but her artwork is absolutely gorgeous and I love the little stickers. So I put that on there. And yeah, I guess let's go ahead and see if Maisie wants a cricket. She went and hid, but hopefully we can get her to come out to eat. There you go, Missy Maisie. You gonna get the cricket? Sorry, I was holding it weird. Here you go. Can get your cricket. Oh, why are you being so shy? You don't want your cricket? Okay, there she took it. <laughs> Get that leaf out of there so we can see you. 
Yeah, you got your cricket? <laughs> Good girl. She was acting kind of shy today, but that's all right. At least she got it. So yeah, I guess that is going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, also, again, if you want to check out Tarantula Cribs, I will link them down below. Don't forget to use my coupon code to save some money. Uh, and I guess with that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. And I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right. Bye. Oh, she just spit out the remaining of her cricket. And now she's cleaning up. It's funny that she took it to her water dish, so now she's like washing her little paws at her water. <laughs> They're just so fascinating. They're literally like little cats. Look at her clean herself. <laughs> that is adorable.